Hey guys, what's happening? It's Reb Zev here once again with a, a late night edition, perhaps. It's a little bit late for me anyway, but uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope it's all good, uh, and it is all good. So just a quick thought or two about um, disappointments or suffering. So on the one hand, there is no suffering, as Nachman said. Uh, and yet on the other hand, there is suffering. And when someone is suffering, um, you don't try to tell people, oh, hey, that's not really suffering or it's all going to be great. You need to be with that person as much as possible and, and help them not to fall into deeper sadness over whatever they're suffering. Um, and one of the main things about that is that uh, there are all kinds of little sufferings in the world, uh, and these are these are the ones that we hope for actually, because we know there's going to be suffering on one level. Because um, even when you put a child in a in a um, hot bath, you're not necessarily wanting to cause them any distress. But on the one hand, you will because maybe the water's hot and the child just doesn't want to take a bath or they don't like the water and they don't realize that this is all part of the cleaning process the same thing happens with us uh, everything we're going through is for cleaning and correction and it's hard for us to see what is going on it's hard for us to see the parental supervision that's going on I know I struggle with it a lot because I don't um, have a great relationship with my actual father and I have very little relationship with him. I, I uh, don't like to say that but it's the truth and now I'm just admitting it to all of you who watch this and I know so the part of that really hinders me when I'm looking at the supervision of Hashem especially from a parental standpoint as a, as a father things of that nature but what I want to say mostly is that we will have suffering and then to be grateful for it is is on a very high level actually and I know we're all doing our best uh, at the same time when we have little sufferings it's very helpful for us uh, because it makes it easier maybe when the other things come that are that are harder to deal with more hurtful more devastating or, or gut-wrenching, whatever it is. Uh, and a little example is uh, something that just happened to me. So I wanted to go stop for something, you know, very small. Uh, I think I was going to get a coffee. And I realized I didn't have the right way to pay for it. Uh, I, I have a special uh, card that I have money that's for coffee, and I didn't have it. And that's a little suffering. You know, I reach into my pocket to find that card and it's not there. And that's a little suffering. And those are the kind that, that are easier to endure. Hopefully those are the kind that we're having. I know we're all having some that are greater than that. But as we look and say thank you for those little things, as I did, I said, oh, well, thank you, Hashem. I don't have the right way to pay for it. So I'm just going to skip it or, or whatever. As we say thank you for those little things, it comes a little more natural. It's also easier for us to say thank you in those little things. And I have lists of little sufferings that I could tell you about for me and some that are bigger. But again, as we say thank you for the little things like that, that, that we don't get or it's a little suffering, a little discomfort. And I know those are hard words to use. Don't, don't take it so literally, but I think you understand what I'm saying. As we say, uh, thank you, Hashem, for those small things that don't necessarily go the way we planned or those small disappointments. It makes it a lot easier to see the supervision of Hashem and then to uh, be thankful or to at least go for thankfulness when we have bigger things and more difficult obstacles that we're dealing with. So there's my quick thought for the night. Um, hope everybody's doing well once again. Thank you guys, as always, for everything. Uh, thank you for all your prayers for me and my family. 
thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Keep going, and we'll get there moment by moment, little by little, slowly, slowly. We're making it, guys. We're making progress. Don't worry. Don't give up. You're doing amazing. Thank you. See you.